This is Science Shot on Local Hack Day. And we're bringing you Hackathon tip number three. Number three. So, Shot, I heard you've been working hard on the Local Hack Day website. Yeah, it's pretty great. I, uh, I'm really happy with it. We have a ton of events on there, and, you know, it's, it's, some, great, it's some great stuff. Oh, wow. That's, that's fantastic. So, uh, I know that a lot of people have, like, really cool mobile devices. Have you thought what the website looks like on a mobile device? Yeah, so so I have, uh, but it's kind of hard to to test it on like your mobile device, you know, especially when it's running locally on your on your desktop. Um, but I have definitely worked on it this time. I've been working like hand in hand with with Aziz to make sure it, it works perfectly on on all platforms. Great. So, how have you managed to test that? Is there any easy way to do it other than like deploying all the way to the cloud and then? <laughs> Sharing that URL. Yeah, so this is something cool that actually Justin Wu from uh, from PayPal Braintree actually actually taught me a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there's this really nifty uh, thing called ngrok, right? Uh, and so here, I'm gonna pull up uh, ngrok. I'm gonna Google it. Um, so here's ngrok. Um, I've already installed this, but normally you would you know hit download and you would you would go ahead and install it. Um, there's a Mac OS version, right? Um, and here we, like you taught me in the last video, it's really easy to deploy a local web server, right? So I already have the local Hack Day website running on port 8000. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new terminal, um, and I'm going to type in ngrok, uh, and I'm going to hit enter. And uh, what ngrok will do is it'll tell me how this works, right? So, yeah. so it's saying the instructions are uh, to expose a port, uh, do ngrok, and then the port. So we know that it's ngrok. 8,000. So ngrok 8,000, uh, which is pretty slick because now I can see uh, it's now tunneling uh, from this address to the internet, right? So like anyone, uh -huh. anywhere. So our friend Joe Nash uh, in the UK, uh, he could actually go to this link right now and see our website, see the local Hack Day website and the testing version that we're kind of working with. Um, so why don't you go no ahead? Way. And, uh, let's go ahead and pull your phone in like you, you showed me earlier. I'm going to go ahead and pull up QuickTime. Um, and if you want to go ahead and start loading uh, that site, um, uh, are you ready for, for the URL? Yep, go for okay, it. Okay, so let me just go ahead and put um, QuickTime up. Uh, I'm going to pull up your phone. Using that pretty fancy tip you taught me last mm -hmm. time. So there's your cell phone, there's your internet browser, uh, and the link is right here. It's 78. 78. C D eight C D eight B nine two B nine two dot N G R N G R O K O K dot com. And here I'm gonna pull up your device really quickly so people can see it. Uh, and it looks like it's loading, it's going out to the internet over Wi Fi. Uh, and I promise you it's gonna be there. So here we go. Yep, there's the MLH logo. Uh, looks pretty slick as per usual, um, and there it is. There's the local Hack Day website. Uh, wow. So what it's doing is it's actually tunneling from your phone to the Ngrok servers, uh, and the Ngrok servers are sending your request into my laptop. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing. And what's even more interesting uh, is that Ngrok will actually show the traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, port 4040, which is a totally different port, right? Uh, and ngrok has made uh, a web interface so I can see the requests as they come in. So if you go ahead and click on some, go ahead and click on uh, signing up for a website. Uh, and here, let me minimize this so uh, people can see. If you go ahead and click uh, on uh, something, um, it'll um, or like maybe refresh the page. So as you see, as you refresh the page, you see all of the get requests that are coming in. Yeah. Uh, and you can look at them in real time, and you can use this to kind of inspect your traffic, kind of like how you do with like the the inspector tools in Firefox and, and Chrome. Uh, and so yeah, anyone on the internet can get access to it, and it's really great for for demos where you want um, you want to be able to call your website uh, on a server on another machine. Um, it's pretty slick. So wow, it's a great tool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I really like it. So that's uh, that's hackathon tip number three. Uh, this is Science Shy on Local Hack Day. Hack Day.